What up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy LC the One, baby. LC the One be asking you, dig? AKA Illmatic One, two, four. It knocked the mother sucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school. And my warm up jersey is right here on the back of my mother sucking one, just yeah. And what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on? Out there in the land where y'all living, you did, but hey, man, we back, we back, we back with another sports rundown episode, man. Okay, in this episode, man, we highlight, man, the Denver Nuggets versus the Los Angeles Lakers for a game highlight October 30th, 2022. Okay, let's get right into this, man. Um... This was a very interesting game right here. Of course, this was a type of a playoff, another playoff game, okay, where you got the stars, okay? Everybody was at full strength. They had Jamal Murray out there. Congratulations to Jamal Murray. I like you a lot, boy. You got the skill set of Dwayne Wade. Stay healthy, boy, because I want to see y'all competing in the Western Conference, man, um, later on this year uh, to come out the West, okay? Now, stay healthy, Jamal Murray. I like that young boy, okay? Very impressive talent. Okay, now, uh, we got everybody there. Aaron Gordon there, Jokic. We got the whole star study cast uh, there for this game, okay? AD came back and played. Uh, everybody was playing, okay? So, this was a, a fantastic uh, uh, game, okay, starting off, okay? Um, and I think Russ, I think the team is starting to get their mojo, uh, the Lakers. They're starting to get their team chemistry. Uh, everything is starting to look good for them now, okay? Uh, I knew it was going to take probably about, it's going to probably take about 10 games from that, for them to actually, uh, you know, get, um, you know, uh, they they scheme together, okay, and get the team chemistry because they didn't play together none last year, okay? So, you know, it's different from practice and stuff like that in scrimmage once you actually play. Then that will tell the tale of the tape, okay? But anyway, man, um, we finna get right into these game changing moments, man. I got three of them because I gotta go. Um, the first game changing moment came within four minutes and forty five seconds in the first quarter. At this point, the Lakers they was down twenty two to fifteen, and the Nuggets they were just putting it on. Okay, uh, in this sequence, Murray comes down. He calls a pick and roll with Jokic, and Jokic rolls to the basket, uh, spinning out the double team, and he scored and got an and one call. Um, I think this changed everything for, you know, like a little period uh, of that first quarter uh, until the Lakers, they started getting hot and stuff, and, you know, they started to roll back, okay? Um, but let's take a look at this, and let's see how this uh, sequence developed uh, uh, as we uh, go play uh, play by play. Not play by play, but, you know, analyze it, okay, as I bring this thing over here. Okay, so basically, uh, you, you see, here's Jamal Murray right here, okay? Uh, he called a high ball screen. Well, as soon as they come down, he called a, a, a screen or a pick and roll. That's what it was, okay? So, calls up Jokic. Jokic screens on Reeves right here. Look at the defense right here. We in a man defense, okay? Uh, Brian is over here on the on the, on the the right side. Uh, the weak side is over here, okay? So, they got their shooters lined up. I mean, this whole play is really designed for him because they really don't have no shooters out there, okay? So, let's see how this uh, sequence breaks down, Okay? Murray starts a little hazy move. Now he could have pulled up right here at this instant right here and took a shot. Look at the space that he got. Okay, he screened his man. Look at look at uh the defense slow to react. But he would get a good contested shot though. That would be a good contested shot. Um if in fact he does try to pull the trigger. So, um in this scenario I think the best option was him for them to roll to the basket because he had the um the, the little man uh pinned down. And, you know, his man, this man is starting to come up right now. So, he going to come up and, you know, they switching off. So, this gives Jokic a, a free possible lane to drive to the left and get up, drive to the lane to get a dunk. So, let's take a look at it more. 
Yep. See? Okay, he just, uh, when Murray went down, he made the defense draw to him inside the paint. Now, this is a tight play right here. Uh, this guy, it was too late for him to slide over the pipe, try to take a charge or anything like that. Uh, because people that did that, then uh, they probably called a blocking foul, okay? Because he's too, too, too low, too close into the paint, you know, where to, to, to set up. So, uh, Yoki recognized that, and now the defense is trying to react. So they they're gonna try to collapse on him and double team. Okay? It almost worked, but that spin move right there, like I said, got him out the double team, and that was a good heads up move from Yoki. Uh, when Jamal Murray just moved out of the way, they gave him a little free lane, well, a little more space, so he can get his move started moving, uh, you know, uh, and uh, uh, score. Okay, so let's see how it ended. We got the end one call. Let's take this. Let's let's let let's let it roll all the way back, so y'all can see the whole play develop without me uh, giving y'all the analysis on it. Okay. But I thought that was a game changer moment right there because it really led, uh, it, it kept them, you know, they, in, in control um, uh, throughout the rest of the first quarter. Uh, well, yeah, until Brian and them started getting hot late in the fourth qu uh, first quarter because they started going to Brian more. It started off with Anthony Davis. It really started with him, and that really ignited everything because they was they, they. I think they basically wanted to. to, to that was the game plan strategy. Uh, they wanted to go. They wanted to ISO with uh, with Anthony Davis on Jokic to try to get him in foul trouble, uh, so they can get him out the game. So they can, you know, use their game plan. Okay, let's let it roll right here, and y'all can see how it all break down. Okay. Okay. So look at that. Murray comes down. Nice bounce pass. And got the end one call. Okay. Now let's go to the second game changer moment. The second game changer moment came within 15 seconds. In the first quarter, okay. Now Russ, he sets LeBron up um, for a nasty dunk. It was an incredible sequence right here because he let the time waste down. They thought it was going to be uh, isolation play with Russ. This came within 15 seconds left in the first quarter. So let's go all the way down to that time step. And uh, like I said, uh, it's, it's now that team chemistry is starting to you starting to see it now, okay? Because they know where everybody's going to be on the floor. Uh, they've been playing long enough with each other, so um, they got an idea of uh, uh, what to do in these situations, um, you know, like this. And uh, that was a good play uh, from Russ. Hold on, let me get to the timestamp. Where is it? Okay, we got all the way down. We got an ad coming up too. Okay, we almost there. Fifteen seconds left. Let's see what we get. I think it came right after this this right here, this play right here. Yep. This is it. Russ watching the clock. And he sweat a lot. But Russ has really been attacking. I can't say that he has really been attacking. Uh he going back to his old self because his numbers are really starting to show that, you know, uh he is that caliber player. Okay, so here we go. Russ got the ball. Um I guess they spread out. We don't see anything yet. Okay, so let's let the play unfold. Russ letting, that, letting the clock look down. He's milking the clock. That's what it's called, milking the clock. Okay, so now y'all see the defense right here. Y'all see the defense. It's a man defense. But Brian is right here to set a screen, possibly, if Russ wants to penetrate or come around and, and pop and hit a jumper. Okay? As you can see, that that's uh, green. I think that's on LeBron. And this is Jamal Murray. So, uh, Russ being smart, he's going to drive the defense right into LeBron. So, LeBron, he can dart out if he wants to and then he got a free lane to the basket to get a dunk or Russ can pull up either way or either way around the arc or he can drive to the basket and try to get a layup in the foul. Okay, let's see how uh unfolds. Okay. Russ. See? Good hand so the move right there. Smart he drew he drew the defense to him. Somewhat same play like how Yoke and them did um them in the first first like the almost like the first part of the the, the, the last part of the First quarter within four minutes and same type of play. Russ see the defense collapse on him. He uh good bounce pass, caught LeBron open for a nice dunk. Okay. Okay, nasty. Okay, we're gonna let that ad play and then we're gonna come right back. My Let's get this out. We're gonna do the last game game touch moment. And we out of here, man, now for how much he pays. this fourth rundown. Episode. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go back to that play. And let's watch it in its entirety. Okay, let's see how Russ uh, let the play develop. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Russ, we let the clock look better. It's called milking the clock. Okay. Starts his move. Bounce pass. Call LeBron for a nice little dunk. Uh, that was that was nice. He had shooters. He had shooters all around the arc too. Got the shooters out there. So good heads up move from Russ. Okay, the last game changer moment came uh, within four minutes and forty four seconds. Another late part of the four, uh, second quarter. Same thing like the first 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 quarter. In uh, this sequence, let's get to the time stamp first. Okay, here we go. Um, Lakers versus uh, uh, Nuggets. Uh, Nuggets at this point they was down. It was going back and forth, uh, but the momentum was starting to shift to the Lakers. Okay, because they, the the plays they were running was so 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 uh, smooth. Okay, uh, Reeves gets a, a deflected pass intended for Green, and uh, this starts a fast break. He steals the ball, and it led to uh, Russ pushing the ball up. He crossed over Jamal Murray nasty at the free throw line. Okay, and uh, this I think this changed everything. The momentum changed and it shifted to the Lakers. At this point, they kind of had their number. They knew because they they came back. You know, once you get to playing with a team, playing against the team for a while, you start to figure them out. Okay, and they and it took it didn't take that long for them. They they ran their game plan with Anthony Davis in the first quarter, and then they just continued on using their speed and their quickness, isolating with certain people. Okay, so let's watch how this play unfolds. Okay, Reeves get that steal. It's gonna take the pass over to Green. I think that was Green that was trying to, you know, they was trying to hit him for a three. And then Russ comes down. Y'all see right there, he stops. Look at, uh, he got him in a uh, backpedaling. So he's gonna take advantage of it. Uh, he could have just pulled right up and took a shot. Because look at how he's, well, he's defending the ball a little bit pr pretty good. But Russ crosses him over and goes for the half percentage shot. He knew he's faster than him and uh, got that sweet deuce off the glass. Let's go back and let's watch the whole play unfold in its entirety and then we out of here man uh yeah okay so here we go same thing uh austin reeves gets the deflected pass i don't know who that was that was it was intended for but uh he gets that deflected pass hold on let's go back we want to pass the time stamp almost there but, you know, I'm doing this, like I said, you know, so y'all can understand defensive sets and things like that and how it goes, uh, you know, this stuff. Okay, we're going to start from right here with Brian right there. We're going to start from right there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Jews actually steals the ball after he taps it to himself. The rush comes down and immediately looks at the defense. Uh, everybody's backpedaling him, and he know it's a man-to-man, -man, so they're not really trying to collapse on Russ at all. Cause they got the shooters out there. Okay, so Russ, he's gonna try to drive it a little bit further. Now he's trying to see what the defense look like. Okay, now he recognizes what the defense is. So they're standing the man, and they're not trying to double it all. So at this point, he's too far in, so they want to see what they're gonna do. And he just took the half percent shot of going to the basket. Okay, but that's it, man. Um, for these game changing moments on the sports rundown show, man. Um, I'm gonna get up out of here. Uh, but let me before we leave, we gotta go to the box score. As y'all know, we start with the losing team first. As always, so we going right to the Denver Nuggets, okay? Uh, Denver has been hot. Jokic is showing that he is the MVP. Without a shadow of doubt, he is the MVP so far uh, for these 2022-23 uh, games, okay? But anyway, let's go to the losing team first. As long as we start losing team first, and high man for the Denver Nuggets was Nikolai Jokic. Uh, he logged 35 minutes on that night, 35 minutes and 52 seconds to be exact. There. He scored 23 points, had 14 rebounds, uh, 6 assists, 2 blocks. Your boy shot 18 for 16 from the field. Okay. Uh, shot better than 50% for, for the field goal percentage. And he shot 1 for 5 for 3 and ended up with 20% for the 3-point shot. Okay, right behind him uh, was Jamal Murray. Okay, he lost 31.31 uh, seconds on the night. Uh, he shot, uh, he scored 21 points, had four rebounds, five assists. Uh, your boy shot nine for 29, nine for 21 from the field. I think if they, they would have put the ball in his hand a little bit more, they probably would have won the game. Um, 
but um, his uh, field goal percentage was 42.9 percent on the night okay and uh, he shot three for seven from the three that was pretty good 42 percent okay and then uh, right behind them was Aaron Gordon with 18 Michael Porter Jr. 17 and B Brown off the bench with 10 okay let's go to the winner 10 the Los Angeles Lakers baby time man LeBron James getting closer and closer to passing caps record man um, becoming an all-time leading scorer in the NBA um, he lost 34.42 uh, minutes on that night Okay, he scored 26 points, had six rebounds, had eight assists, one steal. Your boy shot 10 for 22 from the field. Uh, he shot better than 45.5% for the field goal percentage. Uh, shot two for five for a three and, and ended up with 40% on three point shooting that night. Okay, and right behind him, Anthony Davis hit an excellent game 23 points, 15 rebounds. He lost 36 minutes and 48 seconds um two had two assists one steal your boy had one block head shot 10 for 18 from the field shot better than 55.6 percent on that night and didn't take any threes he didn't take no had no three attempts and walker had 18 westbrook off the bench had eight eight and eight lost 31 point uh, 31 38 31 minutes and 38 seconds i'm gonna stop this thing right away for y'all Okay, uh, Russ had a good damn game, a really good game. Most of his game, uh, his points came attacking the basket. That's what he he's known for. But you gotta watch out and stay healthy. Russ been doing it for years. Okay, he shot fifty percent from the field, six for twenty, six for twelve on the night. Uh, shoot. Okay, but we finna get up out of here, man. And this your boy LC One, baby. LC the one. Reacts, you dig, aka Illmatic One Two Four, and not the mother sub game. Make sure like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn the notification bell button on. To get more exclusive sports rundown episodes from your sports rundown guru. And like I was saying, we're going 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll see y'all on the next sports rundown episode. You dig me? We out of here. Cool.